Hi there, I'm Ashley Bullington and you're watching The Warm Up, presented by your GEICO local offices in Cypress, Katy Spring and Pearland. It is time to get warmed up for round two of the Texas high school football playoffs. All right, the second round of the playoffs is almost here and there is a lot to get you ready for. It's also National Gingerbread Cookie Day, which seems like the perfect way to kick off the holiday season. The Katy Tigers almost got caught with their hands in the cookie jar last week as Katy survived a first round scare from Ridgepoint. The Tigers trailed 14 to nothing early on and didn't take their first lead of the game until the fourth quarter. The road to state doesn't get any easier for the state's second reign team as undefeated number seven Cy Fair comes calling this week. The Bobcats have steamrolled opponents all season with only two of their 11 wins coming by less than 32 points. Expect a hard fought old school football game between programs that love to run the ball and play hard hitting defense. It's a shame these two perennial powers have to meet in the second round because both are capable of running the table and winning a state title. Speaking of state titles, the reward for either Katie or Cy Fair winning that great battle might be taking on the defending state champs next weekend. North Shore is of course the reigning 6A Division I title holder, and the Mustangs draw Pearland Dawson this week, with the victor facing the Katie Cy Fair winner in the third round. The Mustangs have found their strides since starting district play winning their last eight contests by an average of 46 points a game. But don't discount Dawson. The Eagles are 10 and one and have won eight straight games. Dawson will look to control the clock with the two headed rushing attack of quarterback Miles Kit Denton and running back Jaden Stewart. If the Eagles can do that, they can keep pace with the fifth ranked Mustangs. Dawson and North Shore isn't the only matchup of 10 and one teams on Friday night as Cy Falls and Katie Tompkins meet with identical 10 and one records at Legacy Stadium tomorrow evening. What's even more interesting is that both Cy Falls and Tompkins suffered their lone losses back in week six. The Eagles and Falcons have both taken flight since those early October defeats to set up this second round rematch from a year ago. Cy Falls looks to avenge a 31-21 season-ending loss to Tompkins last November. The Eagles will have to do a better job of slowing down Tompkins running back RJ Smith, who rushed for 205 yards and three touchdowns in last year's meeting. One more random but interesting parallel between these two schools, both Cy Falls and Tompkins, have played in the basketball state title game in the last three years, with the Eagles winning the 6A crown in 2017 and Tompkins falling in the 6A hoops championship in 2018. Neither Tomball Memorial or Westfield has been to state in basketball recently, but both have their sights set on a football run this year in class 6A division two. These two programs are polar opposites. Tomball Memorial, is a young program that just earned its first postseason win in school history last week. And the Wildcats look to outscore opponents with a dynamic offensive attack. On the flip side, Westfield boasts of a long winning tradition and often crushes foes with a suffocating defense. It'll be fun to watch the contrast in styles in that one, as Westfield and Tombow Memorial meet at beautiful new Sheldon ISD Panther Stadium. That's just a small sample of the gingerbread house of highlights we're building for you on Chevy's Inside High School Sports. Until then, let's bite into the extra point. First off, we have to address the adorable leopard cubs born at the Houston Zoo. Now, this it has nothing to do with sports, but seriously, how cute are these little babies? Another kind of feline, but the Panther kind. Ridgepoint's football season might have ended last week, but their volleyball season is still going strong. The Panther volleyball squad will be going to the state tournament that begins on the 22nd. They just need to collect two more match wins to be crowned state champions. Good luck, ladies. Klein, Kane, and Klein might have some newfound time on their hands, but the fans of Klein are still in big support of the Hurricanes and the Bearcats. The Klein Texans are looking for a championship win this weekend, and the Little Leaguers have asked the teams to come join them to cheer them on as they try to complete an undefeated season. 
That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Those will keep you up to the minute on everything happening around the greater Houston area and get you ready for your Saturday morning wake-up call with Chevrolet's Inside High School Sports on KHOU 11 at 8.30 a.m. hosted by Matt Measle. Thank you for watching The Warm Up, presented by your local GEICO offices in Cypress, Katy, Spring, and Pearland. To get more information or a quote, go to geico.com forward slash Houston. I'm Ashley Bullington, and I hope the last few minutes have gotten you warmed up for the second round of playoffs.